Whilst work on the controversial jogging track on the embankment of the Parakrama Samudraya has been halted, steps have not been taken as yet to restore the embankment. The stones that were removed from the embankment to make way for the jogging path were placed there to reinforce the embankment after it suffered heavy damage in a cyclone in 1978. A site supervisor who worked on the restoration of the embankment following the 1978 cyclone had this to say on the matter. I am saying this with much pain and I have a right to speak on this because I gave my sweat and labour to restore the Vava. The stones were stacked here and gravel was laid on the breakwater to reinforce the embankment. This was done by hand as it could not be done with machines. It was stacked methodically. 1,000 labourers worked on this. We eventually spent only one-fourth of the estimated amount and we were able to save the rest. Water was released from the Thopa Vava on two occasions once work was completed and there was no impact on the breakwater. We pray that the people who had taken such mindless decisions now will find mindfulness. These large breakwaters are used because there are strong waves. That is why it is called a Samudraya. There are smaller embankments on the Dumbutulu and Erebadu Vavas. Those who are there now don't seem to understand this. We know it because we live there. This will destroy the Vava. Ministry Secretary Karuna Sena Hetti Arachi, who was an irrigation engineer when the reservoir was damaged in the 1978 cyclone, also commented on the issue. There is a problem with removing the breakwater. In my opinion, it is unwise to build a walking path on top of the embankment. There is no problem with people walking on top of the existing embankment. It is not possible to do a precise assessment on the potential disaster. We have not buried the necessary sensory equipment within the embankment to monitor this. There are such sensors in the Victoria and Kothmale reservoirs. At present here, we observe changes from above. I think it is wise to leave the embankment as it is. Observing the embankment of the Parakrama Samudra today, former Auditor General Gamini Vijay Singh has said considerable damage has been caused. Even though we are Buddhists, I think the nation as a whole should curse those who are responsible for the harm that has been caused to this Vava. If there is heavy rainfall tomorrow, all of the soil will wash away into the Vava. We must be extra cautious with the safety of this Vava. The politician who proposed this project must be exposed. In the past, it was prohibited to even park a vehicle here. Now they are digging concrete holes and trying to build a walking path. It has been damaged beyond repair. Former President Maitri Palasiri Sena had this to say on the matter. Engineers who were in charge of the project and experts on embankments have spoken to me on the phone after seeing the media reports. They have put forward several reasons as to why this must not be done. The engineers are primarily noting that when large machines are used to dislodge the rocks, the tremors damage the bund. The technical experts, archaeological experts and all of their opinion is that this must not be done. We must heed the calls of those who have knowledge on the subject. That is what is necessary now.